Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 301. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 296 to 301. Hey, we have a great bunch of tricks here for dates from the 1900s. Now, let's just look at what happens when I enter in a date here. I'm going to type in 2 slash 2 slash 30. The question is, what does Excel think that is? When I hit enter, it comes out 1930. Now what happens if I put 2 slash 2 slash 29? Oh, 2029. So when entering dates, be sure to type the whole thing out. So instead of doing the two digits like I did, you would do 2 slash 2 slash 1929. Then Excel can tell. Now let's just um, find a way, there is a, a setting that you can change because the cutoff is uh, 30 and 29. You go to the start menu and then the control panel and then to regional and language options and here uh, regional options, here's customize and then date and no way you can change the date here. So we could uh, move it up to uh, 43. Okay, okay. And so now this this will affect uh, all of my programs. Um, it sure is taking a little while here now. Uh, 2 slash 2 slash 41. Ooh, 2041. 2 slash 2 slash 44. And that's 1944. So I've uh, changed that. Now, the, the Problem, there's a problem here. Sometimes you get dates. And here it is. We have these dates. They're all like birth dates or something. And they're entered as text or they came in formatted as text. And the problem is you need to convert them um, to uh, show the full years. Well, so one way to do this is after we highlight this, come over here and I'm going to type the number 1. And then I'm going to copy it. Come over here and highlight. I didn't mean to highlight that first. I just meant to put a one copy and then highlight it right click paste special and we'll say multiply since those are numbers we can just multiply each one by one Boop. it converts them uh oh that's a problem so we have 2029 there when we really wanted 1929 so I'm gonna control Z that method won't work we're gonna have to use a formula all right um, I'm just gonna use some straight uh, logic here um, if I could get that many items and then add a 19 and then uh, go with a formula and get the two last numbers and concatenate and put them all together, that would work. So let's try it. Equals left, left of this. That means you can take a certain number of characters from the left. And how many do we want to take? The length of it minus 2, right? Because we have 1, 2 that we don't want. So that'll give us everything 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to that slash. Close parentheses and then uh, you can see right there that so far we've got what we wanted. I'm going to put F2 and then ampersand, that's shift 7, that's the join symbol. Quote, 19, uh, just 19, not even in quotes. And control enter and you can see now we got that. F2, now all we need is the two characters from the right ampersand right of this how many comma two so we're taking uh, stuff from the left joining a 19 and then the last two characters from the right and there we can double click and send it down whoops control Z uh, claw right to there oh but wait a second those are text so let's uh, click in the cell and hit F2 and I want to add zero uh, we could multiply by one two and that would do it I'm going to add zero. I want to show you something funny with this. Oops, that didn't work. Well, it pays to know not only the order of operations, but how Excel evaluates formulas. You sh let's use Formula Auditor. I'm going to go up to uh, Formulas, Formula Auditing, Evaluate Formula. In 2003, this is on the Tools menu. And watch as I click Evaluate. It's evaluating, uh, and it got that as a text string. Right? But that uh, now it's going to evaluate this. And here's the deal. That ampersand is uh, done after functions and operations like plus and minus and multiply. It's the very last thing. So this 
uh, zero got added to that 30. And since there's a concatenation still left, anytime you do concatenation, it converts it to text. So it ends up as text. So the trick here is to know the uh, order of how Excel evaluates and put parentheses around all of this. That's saying, hey, you got to do all of that stuff first, and then the last thing you're going to do is add that zero. And uh, I'm going to click and drag it down. Now, that's the formula I came up with. And the logic seems straightforward. You take this many, and then 19, and then that many. But there's uh, uh, better ways to do this. I posted this question to the Mr. Excel uh, message board. And here's an unbelievably cool solution from Andrew. Substitute. Substitute. So the text we want is this. The old text we want to find and get rid of is slash comma, the new text we want to um, replace it with is, in quotes, slash 19, in quotes. And finally, the instance, that means uh, we have 1 and 2. So we're going to tell it that we want the second one of that right there. Now, this will also give us text, so I'm going to plus 0. No way. That is so um, so much straightforward, knowing that you could just substitute. Because there it is. We just want to take that out and put a slash 19 in. Now, uh, if that isn't cool enough, here's one from Barry Houdini, uh, which is equally cool. And we'll get to see how the replace function equals replace actually, in some cases, could be the insert function if you put a 0 for number of characters. Hey, the old text is right here. The starting number, that's the position at which we want to replace, replace something. I'm going to type len of this minus 1. Why? Because I want to, that would give us this position right here, because the length gives us all of it. Minus 1 will give us that 3. And here's the trick. Right now, it would start there and then start counting how many characters do you want to replace, right? But comma, if we put a 0 in num characters, it doesn't insert or it doesn't replace anything. That 3 is not going to be replaced. It's just going to be shoved over this direction. So finally, we can put uh, the new text, which is uh, 19. And that's it. The whole key to this uh, trick was knowing that that 0, in, in essence, doesn't replace. It shoves the, whatever position it was sitting at to the right. Um, i got to close parentheses. And also, we have to add 0 to this one to convert it to a number from text. And that is just simply amazing. Uh, Barry Houdini, Andrew Paulson, totally amazing solutions for how to get your 1,900 dates back into it. And by the way, you could then pay special values uh, to get rid of the formulas, which you could do like this. Right click the highlight, the whole column of values, drag it to the side, and then drag it back. And when you let go, because you right clicked, there's copy here as values only. All right, we'll see you next trick.